Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a <laughs> unboxing from Zulily. Now, why am I unboxing Zulily? I'll show you. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. So we're gonna get into this box. I actually saw this in my group. Uh, uh, one of the crafters in my group was like, hey, did y'all know you can buy diamond paintings off Zulily? And I was like, say words. So I went over and checked them out and apparently, yes, you can buy diamond paintings off Zulily. So I wanted to check out the quality if you know what I mean. So safety first, get rid of that. We open up our box. Oh, it looks like they come from Wizardy. Is Wizardy the seller over at Zulily? That's a big box for just this, but it makes sure it comes beautiful. So it looks like it's from Wizardy over on Zulily. So I have unboxed Zulily before, or Wizardy before. They actually pretty have pretty good quality. So let's take a look. I just got something really cute and simple, which if you've never seen Wizardy, this is how their diamond paintings come in this beautiful box. Wizard you in Wizard in your heart. Sorry, I can't read today. I got this beautiful sky and tulips, which is a 48 by 38 centimeter. It I'm not sure if it's a round or a square, honestly. I don't remember. Um, oh, okay, it says square. So on the back of the box here, again, you get another schematic. You get this little thing here. I'm not sure what it's for, but if you want to pause the screen and scan that to see what it does, let me know down in the comment section if you do it. Um, we got our diamond painting kit. It tells you some instructions on how to keep your diamond painting safe. You also get some of that extra stuff that they like to give you to tell you that they're 20% more diamonds, high quality, uh, bright color crystals. Now, the last time I unboxed Wizardy, um, the canvas was double-sided adhesive, maybe? I think, maybe? Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and pull out my, my clipboard of doom. Hold on a second. Clipboard of doom. All right, so here we go. When you open your box, you have your wizardy diamond painting, and it actually feels like feels like paper almost. It is going to be double-sided adhesive, I believe. Um, it has the parchment papers on it. What is this for now? We have this little sleeve that has nothing in it. I'm going to guess it has these, it was supposed to have these tweezers in it so that they don't shank you. So you have tweezers. They have the triangle boats, which if you have one of those bead boards from DIY Moonshop, there you go. We have some uh, instructions. It looks like on a CVS receipt. Nope, not quite. Just half a CVS receipt. Gives you some different languages. We also have our toolkit, which is a basic of basic pumpkin spice toolkit. So we have a green boat with a little bit of a funnel, um, pink wax, and a clear or a pink pen with no multi placer. Y'all don't care about that. Um, we have our drills, which are nicely put into the back of the box. I like how they did that. So all your drills are that's a lot of colors, y'all. <laughs> And they are in baggies, so cool points for that because you guys know Miss Coffee loves her baggies. So we do have some really, oh, what's this? Oh, I was about to say, I thought it was mixed drills. I was about to say, Jesus, don't start us off on the wrong foot now. All right, so let's take a look at these drills. They look to be in good quality. I'm not seeing anything that's going to give me pause. I'm not seeing any dirt or trash. I'm not seeing any of them stuck together. I'm not seeing any static. So they, they look to be good quality. Now, both of y'all that are crafty gangsters use this uh, triangle boat. I don't know how y'all use this because I need the lines in it to straighten up my drills. So I don't know how you crafty gangsters use that. Ninja Star, um, so if you are a crafty gangster, you know, you'll like this, the triangle boat. Let's get a darker color out to see what the trash is like in there. We have this 3, 30, or this 30, 20, or 30, 11, I'm sorry. So apparently Wizardy sells over at Zulily, which is like, Zulily is like a, a, a website that sells like kid clothes and stuff. Like they sell more than that obviously now. But when I first heard of Zulily, I thought they only sold clothes. So when I heard this old diamond painting, I was like, well, let me get in on that. So I went ahead and ordered one and this is the one I ordered. So the drill quality does look really good. Um, I guess we can take them out of there because we're just going to put them back in there. So we're just going to boop. So that's the colors that come in this kit. <laughs> All right, so let's get, let's give me that. 
So of course you're gonna have lots of pinks and greens and browns and blues and light blues and different types of blue because there is a confetti sky. I usually try to stay away from super confetti images, but unfortunately for me, because I like tulips, um, yet no, can't avoid it with this one. Wah, 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 wah. So there we have it. Those are beautiful colors that come into this kit. They all look really, really good. We're gonna zoom you in a little bit so you can take a look at their business. Look at that business, yes. I love, love, love them. They are good quality drills. What do you guys think? Flip them over for you. <laughs> All right, so those are the drills. You can get out of their business now. So we're just gonna... The good thing about this is that you have a box to put them in whenever you're not working on it. So that's a plus, another cool point. Now, they lose a cool point because it is rubber band. Look at that. Look at that. That better not have been printed my dang diamond painting. Look at the yellow line. Why is it yellow? The water band's white. Gross. Bloop. So if nothing else, Wizardy really has some pretty good... Uh... Oh, look at that. They didn't use a foam core. So they didn't needlessly use a foam core. So cool point for that. Y'all still getting dock cool points for these rubber bands. Y'all should... Y'all y'all out of pocket with that. All right. So we're going to... It is tight. This is tight. Very tightly rolled. Oh my God, it's so tight. All right. Now you gotta be very careful because this is how you develop bubbles and rivers in your canvases. So, and it looks like it's all one sheet. And actually, can you see what I'm doing? We're gonna make sure you can see what I'm doing. Um, We are going to All right, I got to hurry up and get this cover paper off cuz I see it's trying to bubble up on me. Now, I would store this flat when I go to store it, for those wondering how I would store it, because it is double-sided tape. I'm not the biggest fan of double-sided tape, to be completely honest with you. I actually really hate it. Um, but you don't know with these companies whether they have double-sided or poured blue, so you kind of just, you know, kind of just take that risk. Look at that. I love it. I'm trying to make sure. So we got a little bit of a crease right here. Hold on. You can't see it. We got to get you down in the business. We're going to lower you a little bit. All right. So there is some like yellowing of the glue happening here. So I'm not sure how old or how long Zulily had this canvas, but there is a little bit of tinging too. And you can tell obviously because you can see where the glue stops and then the, the canvas starts. Um, so that's not cool. But if we turn you this way, see that crease in it? It's just wrinkles. It's not bubbles. It's just wrinkles, which is fine. But the rest of the canvas looks great. Now we're going to get rid of this crappy paper that they had on here because that's not my gig. I actually have parchment paper, so I'm going to put that on there. Um, so we're going to lift you back up now so you can see all the business. Matter of fact, while we're down here, you might as well look at the drill quality or the... Drill field, if I can talk, get into the business. Look at the clarity of symbols. Good go. All right, so we're going to turn it this way so it doesn't look so weird to you. Oh, that is that is electronically inappropriate, Wizardry. We're going to have ask you to change that. <laughs> All right, so we look like we got some houses, some bells, some double lines, some arrows going to the right. We have 69. Dirty birds. We have like the biohazard symbol. Uh, we have check marks. We have this little bird up here. Look, look at y'all. Dirty birds. Little bird. So it looks like the symbol clarity is there. Oh, y'all. Why'd they put those eights and twos in there like that? Wizardy, y'all out of pocket. We got some crescent moons, some Fs. 2M8. Y'all, that's going to trip me the hell up. Mostly that 2 and the 8. Let's come over here. Look at that. 
My eyes gonna go all kinds of cross-eyed. Jay's um. We got some we got some quotation marks going on. So it looks like the drill field is nice and clear, so they get a point for that. Hold on a sec, let me get my paper my parchment paper. Alright, I got it recovered. I didn't think you guys wanted to watch me ride the struggle bus. So I went ahead and recovered it. And as you can see, you can still see through it. Um, you can also see that line that I was talking about earlier that's trying to develop into a bubble. But we're going to straighten it down. And if you don't have a straightener, um, you got to kind of get resourceful with things. So I don't have a straightener in the room here with me while I record this. So I'm going to take this boat, right? <laughs> and I'm just going to scratch it down. How long can you keep your canvases like this? This is the way that I found that saves your double-sided adhesive canvases from getting bubbles and rivers in them. These can stay like this for however long the life of the canvas. Um, however long it takes you to get to this canvas. Now, I wouldn't to work on it now, but I know I'm going to be moving here soon, so I don't want to get into any big project. And this is considered big because it has how many colors? We have... 38 colors, good God. 38 colors for this. It's a 48 by 38. We're going to measure it just to measure, make sure it measures true to size. So let's see here. We got centimeters. And we're going glue to glue because I'm measuring from what I am drilling, not where they decided to put the glue. So we're going from here. We're, yeah, you can see what I'm doing. I have, on this side, I have, looks like 48. And then from top to bottom, I have right on the money for 38. So it is true to size, a 38 or 48 by 38. It is square, no special drills, which of course you can add a little sparkle if you go visit T-Mall over at DP with Sparklers. Um, she has some special drills and actually I'm going to be reviewing a new company that sells enhancement drills here soon, hopefully. Um, so look, be on the lookout for that. But Tima is where I usually go to get my, my enhancement drills. So you can always get enhancements from her. She has them square round and special drills. So you guys can go check her out if you want to add a little extra sparkle to your canvas. Little small plug there. No, I'm not paid by her to say that. I just like saying it because I love Tima. Um, so we're just going to put those in there and we're going to put those in there. So there you have it. Zulily, AKA wizardy. <laughs> um, wizardy is sold over at Zulily. So if you would like to give it a try, I don't remember what I paid for this, but it'll pop up on the screen for you along with the picture and the schematic and everything else that Zulily provides for you. So with that said, folks, I got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Questions? Comment section. You know how we do. With that said, if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime. I randomly decide to put up a video and believe me, it's random. But with that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, it's hard out here in these crafty streets, so please remember to stay safe and wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face out in public. Keep your six feet and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.